there. Thanks a lot for your interest in my course, Mobile GIS and Mapping Applications with Leaflet. This course does assume that you already know a little bit about Leaflet and how to make a Leaflet map for a desktop. If you don't know how, you can take my other course, Display and Analyze GIS Data on the Web with Leaflet, and that'll tell you everything that you need to know to follow this course. But if you already know how to use Leaflet to make a desktop map, you can go ahead and jump right in here. So I assume that you already know how to use Leaflet to make a desktop map. But what this course is about is to how to take a desktop map that might already exist and format it to work better on a mobile device and use some of that mobile device's features like the GPS receiver and the email program and also very importantly make it so that your application will work when the user is completely offline. So we're going to start with this web app that I put together. This is a map of the Western States 100 course. It's an ultramarathon that's 100 miles long. It starts in Squaw Valley, California and ends up almost the whole way in Sacramento, California. The red line is a race course. Each one of these purple circles is an aid station. If you click on it, you'll see the name of the aid station and also how far along the trail it is from the beginning and its elevation. And you can zoom in to a specific aid station. Um, there's information here in the sidebar that will tell you exactly where you are, your latitude, longitude, altitude, how many miles you've run, how many miles you have to go, how far you are from the trail, and what direction you need to go to get back to the trail. You see your elevation profile and also the aid stations that are located around you. But for all of this information, you need to have a location. And on our desktop computer, we don't have a GPS or anything, so to get a location, I right-click on the map. And then I can see all this information relative to the location that I, that I right-clicked on. And I can see all the aid stations that are still ahead of me, how much climbing and descending I need to do to get to each one, and how far away it is, and what direction in a straight line as well. So that's great if you're interested in the Western States 100, for instance, if you're following the race on race day and you want to see where people are at and what's ahead of them, etc. And you could use this on a mobile device right now, but it's not going to be great. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'll show you how to use the Google Developer Tools to emulate a device. So right now I'm emulating a Galaxy S5. That's the kind of phone that I have. And you can see exactly what it'll look like on the device. And right away you can see these buttons are really small and they're going to be hard to use on a mobile device. And the sidebar now is really narrow. It's hard to see the information again. It's also really small. So we're going to show you how to make adjustments to this application to look a lot better on a mobile screen. We'll show you how to use a GPS receiver. We'll show you how to use the phone's email system. And most importantly, we'll show you how to make this web application work completely offline. So if the user's out here in the middle of nowhere in the Western States 100 trail, doesn't have a cell signal at all, he can still open the map, he can still see where he's at and where he needs to go. So again, thanks a lot for your interest. The name of the course is Mobile GIS and Mapping Applications. It's on Udemy.com. If you sign up with the coupon Course 3, you can get this course for only $20, and that's an 80% discount. So again, thanks for watching, and I appreciate your interest in this course.